Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to show you the geothermal generator. Hi guys, so um, yes, geothermal generators. They're, so, they're kind of cool, aren't they? They use lava to actually generate power. Yeah, they are kind of cool. I mean, we've used loads in our Let's Play just to get uh, our house up and running. Yes. Some tin. Make 16 empty cells. Um, you got a block, have you? A block of any type? Um, yes, i got a cobblestone. Just um, can you plunk one there so I can put my pump down? There you go. Oh, okay. Not exactly where I wanted it. I'll veer more. There you go. Okay. So you, you're going to need a pump for this. Um, we're going to show you a few ways of pairing these. Um, so we've got a pump. We've got our, our bloody um, redstone engines. Yep. There and there. And it's and so easy to find lava. Yeah, I'm just going to set them on. Then what we need is stone waterproof pipe or whatever waterproof pipe you can get. And then we're just going to put these and run it across into the top. And this should pump the lava up into the geothermal generator. Yeah, and uh, you can use teleporter pipes, which is kind of cool, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Because you don't have to run pipe from your house and to, the, to here. Hang on, this should be working soon. It takes a while, I think. Yeah, the, it's got to eat up, hasn't it? It should, it should be working soon. Yeah, it'll work soon. La 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 la. They do some singing, do face. No. <laughs> That's some bread. I don't know singing no more. There you go, do. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Yeah. Some lava's going up. I got some lava. And then this goes uh, straight in the top. And uh, as you can see, it does that. It gives and, uh, it a ton it, of power. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you the back box and when it's connected up, that it runs power into it. So you just connect your cable to any side and there you go, it's doing that. It's what's charging the back box up. Yeah, and it's pretty quick. Unlike yes, uh, how cool. quick it is. You get quite a lot of power from, uh, from a full generator. So you should be right for a bit. And this is the other, the other way I'm going to show you. So if I put my back box there with wire there and if Ross puts his uh, 24 lava cells in it should hang on back this way first I got some lava cells from out the condenser okay okay so you should put them in it should actually fill that up fully and it's used 24 yeah so it is 24 lava cells and that should fill it up fully and then you put this on and it'll charge your back box up these are really effective to use, I think. You can actually use buckets of lava as well. Much better than a water strain, I think. Yeah, they, they've got more power. And you've you got quite a lot of resource of lava, yeah. Um, so you want to put that bucket in, Ross? In here, okay. It won't work in here because it's full, will it? No. No. But it I goes in there, it does I work. Yeah, it, it does work. I'll try it in this one. Right there. Yeah. And there's one empty bucket. So you just put it in the bottom of the slot and it'll just put it in. Um, what, we're, what we've got here is a condenser and you can't just put lava cells in the condenser so you can just keep pumping them into your generator if you want um, to do that way or if you want to do it the other way just use teleporter pipes down into a massive hour where there's lava pump. The condenser seems a lot easier though to use I must say. Yeah yeah the condenser is the easier way. What you do is you'll have a wooden pipe here with an uh, engine pumping into here so yeah, so what, it'd have to pump in the bottom way, I think, wouldn't it? Yeah, so what it would be, it'd be a wooden pipe, and then this. And I think it'd have to go in the top, actually. Oh, is it the top? Okay. It's the top. And then we'd get our little oh, engine there, and we'd keep that going. And it and it'll actually pump them out, and then that'll just go straight to the top there, and you can just keep it going that way. Why didn't we do this in our Let's Play, do? Because <laughs> we are dumbasses, Ross. No, it's because, <laughs> no. I don't know, we am just... We don't think in the Let's Players, it's just no. uh, a bit of fun, isn't it? It is. Getting drunk and stuff, it's, sh it's what we do. Don't give everyone our secrets away. Oh, okay. Okay, so these just go in there. Oh, hang on, wrong slot. I told you it was yeah. the bottom. It's bottom, right. well, It might be the side, actually. No, it's the bottom. Yeah, I think it is the bottom. The side so, usually th the same. It'll probably put it back in the top, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So um, that's gonna go in the side. That's no, but, oh, it'll go in the side first, won't it? 
Yeah, that's it. That's it, do over here. There you, go. there you go. So, as Ross pointed out, uh, cells go in the bottom. Uh, they should go in the bottom. This, this, they should. They should, theoretically, work. They should go in the <laughs> bottom. It's just sort of uh, done for this tutorial. This condenser. I've, I've, I've had to do it this way before. <laughs> no, it's actually uh, quite so, good. It's quite so, effective. Uh, they should work if they go in the bottom. Let's check. Come on, lads, in the bottom. That one works. One by one. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, yes, they are. Yes, you can just see them go in so quick. I've seen one go in. There we go. There we go. And then they should stack up in there. So, break that off. And they should stack up in the bottom. Yeah, that's right. So, liquid, lava, in top. Cells, buckets, bottom. Yeah. Parasites. And in that box. That box. So, or, uh, or MFS or MFA, whichever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of cool generating power. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I'm back with another tutorial very soon.